Welcome. Welcome to the Sunday meditation. So good to see you. It's a long time. Welcome home. Welcome back. So as always, every Sunday we start meditation with an intention. So, so, so every day we have a spiritual reflection and uh, today's discussion one of the point one of the practice that came which is um, manifesting what you have uh, or in other words revealing what you have committed to right so it goes into depth of how do you reveal what how you want to manifest what your intention is. Yeah. So, so if you want to break it down, first you try to understand what is it. And once you understand, so then you plan your way through and then you act on it and then you become. Understand. In other words, wish means, wish is not just uh, bringing clarity to your mind, like how would that feel like? For example, if you want to manifest your true potential as a spiritual being, or if you want to reveal the spiritual power, the power of the spirit is the power of peace, power of love, the power of contentment, the power of well-being, right? So that is the power of the spirit, right? And we are spiritual being, right? So if you hold this thought that I am a spiritual being, a being of peace, a being of love, a being of pure strength, a being of bliss, and if I want to manifest this in this world, in other words, if I want to become that, I have to have the clarity of what it means to be peaceful, what it means to be loving, what it means to be in power, empowered, and what it means to radiate. Right? So the clarity of it and then acting on it means allowing yourself, allowing your mind, allowing your heart, the experiencing part of your consciousness and the part of your mind which is holding that awareness, hold that awareness, hold that presence and allow yourself to engage. That is acting. Allow yourself to engage and then as you allow, as you act on it, then you become, then you manifest. Right? So four steps. One is to have the clarity of the intention and then following through. Have the clarity, engage your mind, engage your heart, allow yourself to be in that presence and allow that energy to naturally radiate and you manifest and you bring that sense power of peace and love into this world. So in the process, you change the atmosphere and also the conditions of the world, right? And you becoming who you are, you're already helping others to experience what you are radiating. And everyone is looking for love. Everyone is looking for peace. Everyone is looking for a place which feels very safe, right? So in other words, it is giving, is receiving. You're just becoming who you are. You're creating that powerful atmosphere and others becomes mirror. So whatever energy that you're radiating, as they absorb, they reflect it back. And you naturally receive it. Giving is receiving. 
Isn't that cool? Yeah. So everything comes into our hand. Right? So you become the master. You have the power to try and change the world, literally. By changing yourself, you change the world. By changing yourself, you become a transformation force that transforms the world. Yeah? Sounds like a plan. Yeah. So one is understanding, which means having a sense of clarity of what it is. Right? So when we say, I am a spiritual being, what is this? actually means what does being spiritual means being spiritual means non-physical being spiritual means nothing uh, that which is not tampered by physical that which is not tampered by the changing nature of this physical world that which is not tampered by the transient emotions and that me my true sense of self is peace and then you redefine what peace really means and really understand what really love means love is not you help me out when i'm in trouble that is good but that is an expression of love but that is not love by itself so love is your presence love is a whole different energy whole different state of mind whole different stage all different presence. First step is understanding, have that clarity. Once you have the clarity, then see yourself being that. So then you not, you're not just wishing to be that, but you will uh, have a clarity, means you have a follow through, means you start engaging your mind in that peaceful state, you start engaging your heart in that energy of peace, love, power, and natural bliss, right? So the second step is engaging, acting, right? You have a clarity and then you're engaging your mind and heart in that state and you're allowing. So that needs concentration, that needs stability, that needs some time, right? You have to give yourself some time. You have to give your mind some space. You have to give your heart some space. For that, you have to clear what's on your heart, what's on your mind. And you have to engage your mind and heart in that. And you have to hold the stillness in that state of mind. And then your mind will start experiencing what it feels to be peaceful. And your heart start experiencing what it means to be loving. And then your sense of self, your stage will start shifting. You start feeling some sense of empowerment. You naturally start gravitating towards your true, powerful presence. And that is the third step where you stabilize in that presence of loveful, blissful, blissful presence stillness is not just emptiness stillness is steady stillness is empowered presence and as you allow yourself then you become you're not trying to connect to something you are that what you are connected to so then you become a being of peace love and then what will happen? It not only transforms the atmosphere inside your head, inside your mind and heart, inside your inner awareness, but it also radiates through your body language. And it, it not also radiates through your senses into this world. It all starts transforming the atmosphere in this place, in this very place where you are. And whoever is in this atmosphere they can feel what you feel what you are and that makes them comfortable they feel true love and their attention goes back to what it means to be peaceful lawful that is the 
cooperation everyone is looking for. That is the help everyone is directly or indirectly asking. Right? So as they feel what you're radiating, they naturally reflect it back towards you. So you giving that pure energy reflects back at you. You were you it it brings you more steady. It's not just in your mind, you're practicing. And even in these physical interactions, it, it becomes natural. Right? Meditation is not when you are just sitting in one room in a corner, but the practice of lawful self is when you're interacting with others too in this space and time, right? So the whole nine yards. Sounds like a plan? Easy. <laughs> See, one thing that always helps is when you make it, um, when uh, the word that I liked is, Feel your way into the practice. Don't think your way into it. Don't try to intellectualize it. Intellectualizing goes to some extent. It only goes to the first step of understanding. But it will not take you further. Thinking your way will go somewhere to some extent. But if you feel your way, it will take you closer. Your feelings will have more strength of holding you in a presence than thinking about it. Follow it. So allowing yourself to experience. Feel your way into your true spiritual presence. Cool? Sounds like a plan? All right. For the next half an hour, tell yourself, this is my time. Nothing more to do, nothing more to solve. It's time to become. Observe how you feel. Observe how you feel in this very body you are in. Consciously relax every part of your body. Making your presence in this body comfortable. Tighten every muscle and release your feet. Your arms, your shoulders, let go. Inhale deeply into your lungs, expand your lungs. Feel the tightness. And as you exhale, let go. Feel 
relax your jaws. Relax every muscle around your forehead, your temples, your cheeks. Observe your breath, feel your breath. Going through your nostril, feel that healing energy. Flowing through your throat, Feel that a healing energy in your lungs. This healing oxygen surrounding your heart Flowing into your heart. Stay with your heart. Relax. Feel your heartbeat. With each heartbeat, this healing energy is radiating from your heart. Flowing into all your vital organs, your kidneys, your liver, your spleen, your stomach. Washing away all the toxins in the body. Shift your focus to that healing energy radiating from your heart, flowing through your arms, your elbows. Feel that pulsation around your wrist. Feel the energy in your palms. Now with each breath, 
like a fountain of healing energy flowing into your brain. Feeding your brain with this much needed oxygen. making this body very subtle, a temple of peace. Feel your presence in this body of light. A light of peace, and now gently bring your attention to your forehead. Observe the space behind your forehead. You may feel subtle movements in your brain. Just allow the energy to naturally flow. Relax. Free your mind of any thoughts. And observe the space behind your forehead. Let your mind rest. And allow this sense of peace to expand in your mind. In the still mind, you can feel the sense of lightness. Like a spiritual spark of peace.
So engage your mind with that light of peace. An active peace. It's not a passive energy, but it's very much alive. And it is transforming the energy in your mind. A sense of calmness. Bringing your mind alive. Engage with that vibrations and act due energy of peace. These peaceful vibrations of peace. Penetrating deep into your consciousness. Engaging your mind with this peaceful light is cleansing your mind. Keep the spark of peace alive in your mind. Make it brighter. Make it more vibrant.
engage with this vibrant energy. And gently bring this light into your heart. Or bring your heart closer to the light. Nothing to analyze, just engage. Release anything on your heart and engage your heart. The energy of pure love like the heart of a child, pure, vibrant, fully alive. Keep your focus of attention on this vibrant, blissful, loving spark. Let your heart hold this vibrant energy. Given a space in your heart. And allow this loving energy to expand in your heart. Focus. Try to transform the energy of your heart. Keep your attention inward. Attention on yourself. Be aware of the atmosphere inside. Consciously transform the energy of your heart. Keep your heart focused on this pure, peaceful, loving light. Pure, 
peaceful and loving light. Let your heart rest in the light. Let go of anything other than this loving light. Nothing else matters. Take your sense of self into the light. Everything else about you is transient except this light. Stay absorbed in your pure presence. Love, light, and stillness. Nothing else is in your awareness. Just love. Feeling very light. And very steady in the stillness of your presence. And make yourself comfortable in your true presence. You feel complete and perfect. In your true presence, 
make yourself very comfortable. Now slowly expand this light from your perfect presence, complete and perfect. Let this light of peace, light of love, naturally radiate. Let it permeate, let it penetrate into every muscle, every molecule, every atom, radiating into this very space. Effortlessly extend this energy into this room. Very much rooted in your complete and perfect presence. As a being of loving light, peaceful light. making this space a very safe space for everyone. Extend this loving and healing space out of this room. Keeping the strength of your presence very much strong and steady. Your loving vibrations 
is touching the hearts of every being. Not only in this room, but all over the county. Be very steady. Give enough time and space for everyone to soak in these loving vibrations. Be very sturdy. In your vibrant presence. Empowering and uplifting the spirit in every heart and soul. Keeping your presence pure. Keeping your vibrations very strong. Make this practice natural. Make yourself comfortable being your spiritual self. This is your real self. Everything else comes and goes. Try to hold your presence as you gently open your eyes. With your eyes open, stay in the practice.
I'm <laughs> 